Chemistry is basically one of the few areas of science where on a daily basis you can arrange matter in different ways. And we do that by breaking bonds and then forming new ones. And it turns out that we can do that with enzymes. And the brilliant thing of doing that with enzymes is they're very specific. When they do a reaction, they will pick one site that they want to engage with and ignore all the others in a molecule, even if they're extremely similar. What we're really interested in doing is integrating uh, enzymes, that's natural catalysts, come from microorganisms, with uh, synthetic chemocatalysts because of the advantage of bringing the two uh, together. So we can do transformation using the combination of those catalysts that are not possible uh, using enzymes alone or synthetic chemocatalysts alone. Most pharmaceuticals uh, synthetic molecules which are taken through multiple synthetic steps to get to the final drug molecule. Uh, that, that can mean there's a lot of waste uh, and it also means that the final molecules are quite expensive. The challenge of combining the reaction that palladium does with the selective reaction that the enzyme does is that if they're both together in the same solvent, they usually just stick to each other and inactivate each other and be useless. But what's going on in here is we've got a membrane that will only let non-charged things through. So because the enzyme has charge and because the palladium has charge, they're stuck either side of this membrane, can't interact with each other, but the intermediates and the substrates can move through freely. Part of the reason for using enzymes in synthesis is they come from what we call a renewable feedstock, which means that we can make them using bacterial that will just replicate itself. And so this chemistry can do very selective reactions that could end up producing cheaper drugs. The reason why nobody's done this work before is probably because of the lack of both expertise that you need. So here in Manchester we have this enzymatic expertise and also the transition metal catalysis expertise from two different groups. As you can see now, we're in this laboratory, which is a chemistry laboratory, uh, but if you take your camera next door, you're in a biology uh, laboratory. So enzymes are catalysts from nature, uh, where effectively we have to start with the genetic material from the microorganism or wherever, but in here is where we do the chemistry, the chemocatalysis, and ultimately bring it all together. So I would say it's the unique facilities that we've got in this institute and the integration with chemistry and biology which has allowed us to bring enzymes and chemocatalysis together. Thank you.